What's up guys? Mujella here and today welcome to Quaderno episode 17 I think. Uh, I'm not even sure. But today I'm with Ate Bites and Robert and we're going to talk about marriage. This is so exciting. I know we talked about it's okay to be single and then we already jumped into marriage. marriage. <laughs> we'll find the middle ground later. But um, before we go into talking about marriage, at the Vites, Robert, please introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm your Ate D. <laughs> you can go. Vites or brightest is Kaya Grosso for long. <laughs> Hi. Uh, uh, I am, yeah, 33 years old. And we are currently living in Norway. So, yes, yes. Introduce yourself. And me, I'm the happy, the happy, happy. <laughs> My name is Robert. You know the surname already, she said. And I'm also 33, but soon to be four. Oh, yes. Yes. So now Ativites and Robert are in Norway. Uh, yeah, I met Ativites in Kumu and we've lo- known each other for a year now. And I'm so happy you guys joined me. And, you know, just I really appreciate it. I can't stop thanking you guys because I know uh, everyone has their own schedule. And I really appreciate you setting this time for this. If they have time to Kumu, they have time to do the interview. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, I just have a question. How long have you guys been married for? Married for and a half year. Mm-hmm. Four, four and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And wow. Half. And I, that's that's a long time. I think not, not too too long, but long enough to to share your your stories as well. But before marriage, <clears throat> sorry, where were you both? Tell us about where is bites at the bites and where is Robert before you guys met? Ah, before we before we met, because I I went to Norway. Like, okay, I'm a Filipina girl, like, who went to Norway as an au pair. So, uh, au pair is like a cultural exchange program. So, I've been in Norway for, uh, like, two years as an au pair. And then I went to a Bible school and then studied. And then I think I met him when I was in the Bible school. Mm-hmm. And I was, okay, maybe, I don't know, should I share already how we met or maybe later? <laughs> just just say whatever you want at yeah, the goal. so i think like yeah uh i was in um i have this like group it's like a we call it the mm-hmm. active people society it's like a group of expats like in norway from people from all over the world and that's like uh how i met him we can talk about it later maybe but that's why that's I'm the here. start yeah that's why i'm here in norway because i be, i'm an au pair and then she and, met me. That's why she's in Norway. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I was in Norway already for a few years before I met her. Uh, I was working, and I'm from Poland originally. Oh, Poland, Philippines, in Norway. Mm. <laughs> And also about this group, Stavanger People Active Society. Uh, I met a friend, actually, because I was working in the Norwegian Post, the government-driven one. And uh, we are interviewing people for a new position. And there came a Polish guy. So he happened to be very good and he got the job and after i was talking with him and he introduced me to this group because uh, he was like kind of giving uh, some kind of lectures uh, in the Norwegian language uh, mm-hmm. uh, teaching because this savanga society group they are covering a lot of different activities mm-hmm. from sports to board games to the learning language, language and of course other stuff and uh, some hiking and other activities a lot of just mm-hmm. what normal people do yeah just in a group with a bunch of international people mm-hmm. so that's where i met her once she wasn't interested in me at all. <laughs> yeah really <laughs> yeah really yeah 
Yeah. Hey. <laughs> because there were yeah. other Polish guys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so take us back to that moment. So where was Ate Bites? Where were you when you first met? When we first met, it was a volleyball yard outside the one school here in Norway. And we are already playing when I came there. I didn't know she's going to come. I just wanted to play volleyball. Yeah, And this friend invited me and I finally said yes. So we, while we're playing already with other people from the group, she came on a rusty old bicycle <laughs> 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 because because that was her only means of motion here in Norway. She doesn't have a driving license still. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I heard. <laughs> yeah. I have bus. I have buses. I have trains in Stavanger. So, but bicycle is good. Only for short, mm-hmm. short uh, transportation. Yeah, for her short transportation, like really five minutes, because mm-hmm. more than that, she's exhausted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Norway is up and down, yeah. so it's not mm-hmm. so. You need to be very, very fit for you to cycle in Norway. Wow. Not need to be very, very fit. Just need to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so she was in her um, bicycle. Yeah. And... Yeah, she came in because the field was quite actually big. There was a volleyball field and co- surrounded by other fields of activities, mm-hmm. like also tennis and other volleyball field. And because it, it's a it's a school compound, yeah, mm-hmm. that's open for everyone actually. And and we're playing. Then we met once more during the board games Sunday so I was uh, annoying her with being strict with the rules of the board games they wanted she wanted just to have fun and no you need to follow rules then what's the point of having this game you can do whatever you want that's why I don't like him in the beginning because he talks so much Mm. and then I was always joking at her just joking because she's not She's Filipino, and Filipinos are not so fond of uh, rules or grammar stuff, especially in language, yeah, because they, they just talk whatever they like, yeah, and Excuse I was me. correcting her all the time with her English, grammarly, of course. Mm. So that's why I get annoyed by him. And I really don't like him in the beginning, as I said, in the volleyball games, like we're playing, and it's like he's so... Ooh. He's so, like a kind of leader, kind of leader like that. So my type of guy is just quiet, just like, <laughs> yeah, like, you know, like not talking so much. Just like, and he talks so much. And... So I, I'm not really into him in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But Robert, at that time when you're annoying her, there's no, is there nothing or is there something already? Like the normal uh, hormonal men stuff, you know. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> 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 that's the purpose for men to going uh, to the groups like that to find another half. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you had because some me, me because me because me and this friend we are actually going and uh, looking at girls in the group and and talking <laughs> about this in our private conversation. Oh, do, 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 do. So who so are you... your crushes there? <laughs> so those are moves are those moves to to get to her if to to so get to her it. it's uh not exactly to get to her in that first place uh, just to get to know her because it's just to get anything you know when you're not single so i know when you're single you just need to like get get to know other guys, talk to them so you build up your experience and finally someday you can use it in a real battle for a woman, yeah? Mm. Social. Social practice. Yeah, social with a chance of meatballs like they say in the movie, yeah? <laughs> That's why your crush is there of all the girls there that you meet. It was because we are like it. a big group. We're actually a very, very big group with like everyone like from from all over yeah Europe, there could be 12 Europe. 13 people in one room every mm-hmm. age from different country yes it's mm-hmm. like one country each. imagine that that's such a great uh community because like you can really be in one 
group like i don't know 15 people and all in different countries so it's mm-hmm. really really fun and really interesting getting to know uh different like cultures as well like yeah and then you find out they are not bad as they as you hear in the tv <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. So when did it when did start when did things start rolling or start, you know, with it your relationship? It started a bit later when I uh, I was once late at work. Actually not only once, but this day, this day because we were already texting in a Messenger or something, yeah. A few weeks later. Uh, and I was late at work and she went groceries but she's always like with this bicycle when she gets four <laughs> kilo of the stuff it's so heavy like on the way home she's gonna die yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i offered to pick her up from the from the shop and drive her home so so we met there and then we met again at the board games so i was like already starting to make some move but it wasn't still like uh it was just to find the chances, yeah. But then later on, uh, I 50 50 joked about going on some trip, yeah. Because oh. I wanted just to go somewhere, yeah. Mm-hmm. And of course, she didn't know I was planning some uh, other intentions. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> she, 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 she just thought they uh, want to go on a trip because I said, we should plan some trip, yeah. And I said we can invite, we can take others and go a big group, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the cover cover story was on, and she took that. So I managed, <laughs> I managed to fi- find a friend, uh, also from my country, that managed to come with come with me, and she took her uh, friend my also, best friend. Mm, her best friend. So there was a uh, four people trip. Mm-hmm. It's Wait. actually. No, couldn't be more because we had only one car, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I remember what's so funny that she was. But how do we get there? Because we're going to Monafossen. It's, it's a waterfall. waterfall. This Norway, it's you know, it's like uh, there's a lot of mountains, uh, falls, and everything. Wow. So that's that's where mm. go to go it. to a waterfall, mm-hmm. yeah. And she was so worried. How do we get there? How can we manage? Uh, she didn't know. Mm. And I said. Brightest, I have a car. Whoa, you have a car, really? Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. And she was so happy. Like I imagine, that. imagine, imagine that my in my head because we we're just only writing, yeah. No camera. No, I don't feel like that. I was just a surprise because I didn't. Yeah, but that's what uh, what was in my head oh. when you answered. So. Oh, that so- was our first trip. That's our as our first trip, but it's and... not like we are already like. Uh, like no, but, but but there's later... always something. They're already, like, but this something. is a start, and on after this trip, we're talking uh, more often with each other and seeing each other and stuff. And later on, we agreed that our first date was this trip. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Because mm. it, here it's not so. It's not really common, like I, like. Can you like, go take, out? And... Can, like, uh, is it? Is, can I take you on a date? It's not like you say like that. Like, mm. can I take you on a date? It's just like that was like our, like it's supposed to be like a group trip, mm. right? But the first real date when we agreed that we went on a date uh, was a walk around one lake uh, yeah. in the evening. That was nice. We just walked side by side, not holding hands. But after half a round, we started to hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so cute. Um, Ate Vites, how about your perspective? Like when he was, you know, you guys were in a date or the first trip, wh- where were you? Like, what were you feeling or yeah, what were you thinking? Yeah, because as I was saying that I, he kind of annoys me really. In the beginning, and then it started to like uh, talking because of that annoying each other. So that's how we started like talking more because we annoy each other and like like he not annoy he annoys me. So that's why how we started talking more. And with that trip, 
I was kind of like, um, there's already a kilig, you know, the kilig is like a, I already get kilig when the, when we had this trip. The first like, one. Like, yeah, in the yeah, falls, To the waterfall. To huh? the waterfalls. And because we have this one in, in Bluebird Cafe, because we have also in this group, we usually every Tuesday, because as I said, we have a lot of activity. And every Tuesday, we go on a cafe where they have this open mic. And like oh, some of our friends, they go to the stage and they can sing, they can do poetry or whatever. So we usually go there every Tuesday. So that's where we also get to the... Mm-hmm. Not only because mostly mm-hmm. we were seeing each other in the board games mm-hmm. and this uh, blue cafe yeah. meeting. And some uh, sports. So there's already like uh, it's starting to. I don't know actually in the beginning how I feel like I'm kind of annoyed or like uh, I'm not really. Because I told you like my type of guy is just nice. So it's I'm like ah, oh, it's kind of like. Kind of killing, but some, at some point, like... Why you don't I... remember you wrote it down in a diary? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that time, at that... Yeah, the one that... Because uh, we, 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 when we, like, already married, right? And I saw my diary and I was, like, writing something. Like, oh, my gosh, really? I really felt like that before? Because it's, like... She didn't remember what she wrote. Yeah, because I am a very, have a very, very poor memory. So one one part there in the diary where I wrote like because I'm a hopelessly romantic person, I always feel like when I met someone, oh my gosh, maybe they're like that, maybe like that. So I wrote there in the diary like uh, when I started when I started to stop looking for someone, and then I just like prayed and like you know. Papa God, kayo na pong bahala. Like, like, I lift it all to you if you, if you uh, t- bring, or how you call it, uh, bring someone to me, like, it's all in your hands, so I will not just, because I'm already, like, under my stress. I don't know how old am I, right? Uh, 20, 20, 27, 28, so I feel like I'm single, and my, like, I feel like I'm already stressed. Like my friends, they're married. Like they uh, have kids, mm-hmm. so I have like, okay, I have, I have enough. I don't wanna like, cause I met some guys from before. Like I feel like they're the one, but they're not the one. So I said, okay, I, I don't wanna like search more. So if somebody will come, I will trust in you, Lord. That if you mm-hmm. if you will send me someone, that he will be the right person. Then I trust in you. And after I don't think about boys and everything, and then that's when I'm met him actually so Aww. it's like he's a he's a answered prayer for me like, oh did you hear read... that yeah, yeah of course i know that her. but she already got her, her esteem quite low so she was writing it down in the diary it was so fun to read it <laughs> but of course she showed me that i didn't dig it up myself and this is my first <laughs> Like I showed it to him because oh my gosh, I look, look what I yeah. wrote before. And either way, I needed some kind of deciphering because her writing when she uh, writes in the diary, I it's so it. small, it's like <laughs> very small. Uh-huh. And that's really nice though. You guys, you know, like share each with each other just your truest self, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So um and so when did you was there such a thing like being officially together, like your girl, girlfriend, boyfriend, or it just happened? We uh, we didn't like. We did like, it we, on this uh, day, day in the. Yeah, yeah, but we didn't. It's not. I told you, it's not here. Like you say, uh, would you want to be my girlfriend? The question like that. So, I don't know. Uh, we are not. Maybe I also lived, or maybe I experienced being here in Europe, and maybe it's not like. Uh, you just don't like say it. Obviously, you just married yeah. with it uh, naturally. Yeah. Yeah. So we we actually made it official. Is it like I don't know when we we will really like officially like. <laughs> That's okay. So we just said like we just said oh okay maybe this one the one where we walked in the lake because that's really the point. Oh. Really like really like intentionally like. Yeah, but we said we said that the waterfall is the start. <laughs> yeah, but, that is, uh... but still, the first day we met each other, mm-hmm. when we met each other, it was at this volleyball. And we still remember the date, 4th of September, 2.15. Yeah. Aww. 
I'm getting the killing. <laughs> yeah, Aww. I can see that. I yeah, know, I have. It's good. Just a friend of ours took some photos on that day, and we have a memory on that day. Yeah, but you know, good. when you're in some situation like you didn't expect it at all, like I don't have any thoughts about him, so we can have a photo or something. It's good that we have a friend who took some photos where we're playing volleyball, and we saw that. Even though we're faces, it's actually not visible on that photo. But we're playing the same team that was also annoying because she was so <laughs> bad. <laughs> yeah, because he is so competitive and I am just playing for fun. Like he, that's his personality. Like he's kind of leader, like competitive. Like he's so like, bossy. You played to win, yeah? Yeah, but like <laughs> for me, it's just a friendly game. <laughs> I'm not, and I, I admit, I'm not that good at playing ball. And the marriage is also friendly for you, huh? huh? What? And the marriage is also friendly for you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, oh, I got lost. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I was just really playing for fun, and I'm not really good in volleyball. But I mean, especially on the how you call it in the front net. Side. Yeah, on the net. Because I'm too short. Of course, what do you expect? I can't be like... <laughs> I'm scared in the front. To jump uh, and touch yeah. the ball. Stop it. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid that the ball will hit my face. Mm-hmm. And he's yeah. Scared. Yeah. So love arrives when you least expect it. So yes. when did... Right? The, from what I'm hearing. Um, so when did you know it was time to propose, Robert? Um, <laughs> when it was time when her visa was starting to expire. <laughs> Oh my god! How did you know that she is the one that you want to be with? Like, did you did you think did you think that okay, this is the first like the first time you met her? Did you think that she would be the one you would be marrying? No, I wasn't thinking about that. Mm, you just when I met her mm. in the beginning. In the beginning, but later on we talked to each other, and it was why like she's a kind person. So why would I? go further and search she's a, she's, a, she's a kind person and that's what matters most for me actually mm-hmm. so that's the number one thing that that got robert's heart mm. because she Catherine. always even 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 now she's always telling me how could i chose her when she was so <laughs> <laughs> I so i feel so insecure of myself i always think like i'm so ugly and like of course, they are like foreign people, so maybe they would look like more like prettier. Like there's a lot of pretty Polish girls, and I always think like, ah, why would you? Why would you ever choose me? Like, why would you ever? Like, why would you? Why did you even marry me? I was asking like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. He he fell in love with your inside out, and that's what matters, right, Deva? <laughs> Yeah. And she's a good cook too, right, Robert? She cooks a lot of good food. Yeah, huh? I cook. She, she cooks a lot of good food. No. No. Ali, I hate you. Do you want to die? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> that's okay. our theory. That's, that's, that's our saying. That's every time you want to like, die. Uh, like you you do something you bad die. and then you say, you want to die. You want to die. Don't show photos. <laughs> I wanted so, to show the photo of her, but no. she doesn't want me to show her. <laughs> no. So, so she, actually, guess... it was quite early. She she met my mom. Oh, yeah, because I met her mom. Yeah, quite early. <laughs> she doesn't want me to show the photo. I want to show the photo. Not... Less than a month since we first met. <laughs> yeah, and I met her, his mom. And she met my mom already. Yeah. How long did you guys? were together and then what happened in the in the proposal can oh. you take us back it was, le- it was less than a year since we got to know each other yeah because it was september mm. and we actually it was actually july when we started to think about it like we thought about it already like more serious uh, earlier but mm. july when really things fast. when things really mm. got uh, tense because her Visa was until middle of August. Yeah, because I told him, okay, I'm gonna go away. Yeah. <laughs> <gonna> oh. Leave. <laughs> oh. And I didn't want to leave her, oh. so, and I didn't have any actually any ring and stuff. And buying in Norway a ring, 
costs a fortune, yeah? So <laughs> it really does. It really does. And it was also the time that I uh, got promoted and had to work in a different city. So I, yeah. I was driving oh, also. And during the week, I was also living there later on. So we didn't have much time together also and had to do something. So I will not lose her in August, yeah? <laughs> Like she had to go back to Philippines. So actually in the middle of July, we like took serious, serious talk mm. the first half of July. And we agreed that, okay, let's get married. <laughs> oh. Let's get married. And it was like, and two and a half weeks later, we are confessing to each other our vows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But wow. actually we started like, because we were thinking like, oh, maybe we can just have like a, we call it a, yeah, well, because there is uh, another option here in Norway that you can apply first for a fiancé visa. Yeah, fiancé visa, visa. But then after half a year, you have to renew it. So why would you take a fiancé visa for half a year and then re- re- renew it when you can get married? Yeah. Right. Less, wow. paper, less paperwork later on. Yeah. Huh. And then, uh, yeah. I'm also kind of a logical person and I... They didn't want to struggle with papers again later on. Mm. Mm-hmm. But like uh, how you, how you, when you went to Poland, because this is so difficult. The process that we had was really kind yeah. of fast. To get, to get married here, uh, I needed papers from Poland about my uh, act of birth and uh, mm-hmm. act of non-marriage in Poland. Yeah. yeah same for and Poland is so stupid. I need to get everything personally. Mm-hmm. So it was a fast trip to Poland. Actually, I took a flight uh, to Poland and I was back early on the day after, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> two days. It was a two days I was. So actually during one working day, I managed to fix uh, my papers. Luckily, uh, my father was in Poland that time because he went on a vacation because he also lives here in Norway. Yeah? Mm-hmm. He went on a vacation, so he kind of helped me uh, out with uh, driving and stuff, with transportation, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. But things weren't easy because uh, during that time I was also a leader in this post branch here in Flekkefjord where we are. Mm. And it was the craziest day at work. People, uh, some people were sick. Later on a car crashed, uh, somebody car crashed. <laughs> and it was like, and I had to do everything remotely. I couldn't be there, yeah. Mm. And it was like, I've been there for... Uh, almost three months yeah being a leader there and working there so it was also a very short time and that was a very crazy time for for us yeah he got a new place to work new place to work new place to live and this wedding like actually process the wedding i we we split the tasks she was taking care of the wedding i was taking care of the work yeah. Yeah, because I have to do everything on my own, and I. She didn't have any job, just a little bit uh, every other uh, weekend. I have, yeah, I have like a he- uh, health care weekend. I work a uh, extra weekend on a uh, home care nursing home that time. But like no, just like preparing, because you know, for us Filipinos, we always say that wedding is such a big thing, you know. But you know, as for me, I living in europe i kind of change kind of a perspective of being more like practical and you always think and like no i started to think like you know wedding is not just on your clothes or food or the decorations it's, it's more best. of the like the person you're gonna get married and that was that's the more important thing so i because you know because i stress so much because you know it's us girls we want it to be perfect but then suddenly when i really thought about that you know you know what my wedding dress i bought it online <laughs> she bought it in online on some oh asian gosh. shop and it, it came right in time and it fit perfectly you know <laughs> days before you know when you order something online sometimes you don't know when it will come right and it's a wedding dress. because you, you also know we we said that we do this wedding two and a half three weeks before it actually happened yeah yes. yeah and, that and, was she ordered, and, and she ordered she ordered a dress from 
Asia. Like, imagine China packages coming in always like one, one and a half month in uh, in advance, they're saying delivery estimated, yeah? Mm-hmm. But, the, but the thing is, when I was in Poland, I was... Uh, also needed to find drinks yeah? yeah and the the reason why we have only these plain drinks mm-hmm. not not some fancy ones and other because the fancy rings they take at least two weeks to make so every couple bear in mind if you want drinks do it two at least two three weeks before the actual wedding <laughs> <laughs> to decide what you want plan it a year before they yeah. get married yeah. <laughs> How long in total you planned yours for? Yeah, it was at most three weeks. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. <laughs> it is possible. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, people also can get married uh, on a daily basis, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's so but, nice. but the thing is that it was like already one week before the, w- the wedding. I was in Poland and okay, I cannot get any ring. The, the wedding will be in several days. <laughs> uh-huh. So the only option was to just take normal rings, yeah? yeah. Uh, the only thing good I did is I prepared myself and took the measurements at least, so. Yeah. Oh, it's good that it fits. <laughs> yeah. oh. if it will not fit. <laughs> it was actually a little bit too big, I think, for you, yeah? It's okay. Because I remember I went uh, to Poland back again to adjust the... Did you? Yeah, I, I think. Remember. I think so. Mm-hmm. I yeah. remember that I had to adjust the size. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Ah, it was it wasn't the rings. It was the, f- the proposal ring that she actually got later on than the wedding ring. No, you gave this. Oh, yeah, me. both. Yeah, I gave, gave I gave this. both. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm sorry for the engagement ring. The engagement ring. That's okay, you one, tell the story That's one I had to. That's one I had to adjust again, but. I don't quite really remember what I did, honey. Okay, so you, you, you came from Poland and we had dinner at home and we had dessert because you know my favorite dessert is ice cream. And you put, when I ate the ice cream, I thought I bit something like peanuts yeah, or something. She almost <laughs> swallowed it. She almost swallowed it. And so he, put, he put the wedding ring on inside the ice cream. So I said, What's this? <laughs> so when I took it out, it's the it's the ring in the ice cream. We already planned the marriage, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> she got the engagement him. ring. <laughs> I look at him and then I just cried. Oh. Even though she knew we were going to get married in several days, she still cried. So. Yeah. Oh, that's just so but nice. But it's just cute how he how he does. Because some people like, mm. oh, so grand that you, you know, very nice. The littlest days. things. Make, yeah, make a so difference. Then, I think that's. I think I would not exchange that to moment to to like more expensive. Like, oh, that's what I said, guys. Really, she's, about, she's a cry face now. <laughs> <laughs> now for me, it's like you know, it, like you don't see or you don't measure stuff with the price or or grand. You know, but of course you can do that for the person you love. But uh, what's the most important is like, like the purpose or how you do it, or you know, like most important is you just love each other. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't want to say more. That's so. basically <laughs> it, Ate. That's basically it, honestly. And that's yeah. that's that's the short, the most simplest way to put it. To be honest mm-hmm. with you, so like after that engagement all the marriage mm. so you live together mm. and what what did you discover about yourself and what views has been changed regarding marriage what change okay. before anything else i will just say like because you know because as we as, as what he i'll just like a little but for because he work here in flexicure this is his new workplace and where we used to live in Stavanger is like two hours away from here, okay? And then we have to prepare all this wedding and he has to drive like almost, he used to drive almost every day. It was only one or oh, eight I know, days I was During the preparation. And then he has to come in Stavanger. During the preparation, I was working, I was there from Monday to Friday yeah. and coming for a weekend back on. Mm-hmm. So 
it was so busy and after our wedding we have to move here so it's like really totally like the pace of our life there was like like Like, new place move there new people like in a rush all the time yeah yeah we we left our friends there like family and stuff like that new place new people new work we are married like we're husband and wife and i was like that was really like you know it's just like very high like moments uh, of one she of came them. in in uh, September yeah I think September we moved mm-hmm. and yeah so when we get married what changed or what we learned from each other was that your question mm-hmm. yeah I think I think guys relationship it's every day is a relation the love or relationship is a work in progress and it is it needs growth every single day. You gotta learn from each other every single day. But every before day. we agreed to get married, we had a serious conversations mm. about we talked about our bad stuff, our bad behaviors, yes. oh, about the that's good so... stuff. Uh, like you know, we're very serious, yeah. Mm. And <laughs> we talked about what's wrong with us what are our minus what like about you <laughs> yeah what we like about each other and stuff and uh, like agree with each other that yes we're going to do this and we're gonna be together no matter what mm-hmm. and we had to repeat it uh, many times to really not just to get it to stuck but to realize in your brain what you're doing yeah mm-hmm. because getting married is for a whole life Oh, there we go. When you don't do that, then just divorce and wasted yeah. time. And why to do that? I didn't. We both didn't want to waste more time. Yeah. And that's <laughs> the thing: two different person, two different culture, two different personalities. And personalities. Ah, personality is always different. Yes. And, yeah. You know, <laughs> if you're gonna be living together, and you will eventually learn something new from each other. And you something you might not like, you might get frustrated, you guys. That's also, I perfect. remember that for during the first half a year, I was cooking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was cooking. And then she finally had the strength to make something on her own because she, she, get she tired. reached her quota about eating almost the same food every day. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's good. Like the one is making, you get used to like, we had rice, of course, it's okay. Rice, meat, vegetables. That's like mostly our food. And it's really a well-balanced meal. But it's like, I always like, oh, try to something new. So now yeah. I'm experimenting. But it took her half a year to finally some, make something on her own. Because I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not like, a, back in Philippines, I'm not really cooking that much because i'm like it's all my sister's task my task is like to take care of their kids or clean the house or decorate it's i'm more of like that so she of didn't stuff. learn cooking so i'm not really good at cooking so now mm, i'm cleaning it. too only when I'm you have here. to <laughs> <laughs> and i had when i came here and then i started like searching in youtube or pinterest pinterest was my yeah that's she's friend. good at that she just uh <laughs> Look at stuff and do. If I want to make a cake or some new dish and look at the YouTube, oh, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I started making food, like some food, like he like most of it you like. Don't say you don't. Not that double though. <laughs> but he, yeah, he's just he is a very peculiar, he's a very peculiar person. He and she knew that before we get married. Yes, talked about this, especially with food. Because he's like always in Poland. He's not really, he's not a traveler. So he's not really more knowing a lot of different culture. Right? So I came from a land with, a, of course, we are very rich cultural food food and, and stuff. So he has to adjust to it. I told you, I told him, you know, if you're going to Philippines, you have to try this, try that. And then I so, got sick. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so going back to 
like I hear some adjustments, right? Like mm-hmm. so it was food or like Ate Bites cooking. Mm-hmm. Um, what else is there during the first start of the marriage? How was the adjustment period? Actually, it's quite blurry for me, that period. We we're just like together enjoying time together we watched really a lot friends. of we're watching a lot of tv we're like friends because oh. like, we have a lot of things in common like we wa- we like animes mm. and one adjustment i think for him is like he started watching korean <laughs> <laughs> that's later i'm not sure how later was that but that's one adjustment for him like he started to, because he of course he doesn't watch that before so now when i started to convince him so now we enjoy watching it together so i think that's one mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the biggest change she came through is uh because she was she was even we got married she was also so worried that we might divorce yeah oh and uh, because she has friends and stories from the world and she's affected by that and it took actually some years for her to overcome these uh, feelings to like really stop being so shy, stop being nervous about doing uh, like new food she makes. And she's so worried that uh, it will not taste. That's why also the first uh, half of the year I was making the food. Yeah, yeah she was very insecure mm-hmm. about stuff and that we might get divorced. And she was really like a little bit uh, scared, a little bit scared, actually. No, I'm always jealous. Yeah, oh. I'm jealous. I'm over jealous. Because <laughs> I told him, like every time I see, oh, who's that girl? Like, no, but actually, sometimes it's just me. Of course, it's just us girls. I don't know. Such I just me. Then. Sometimes yeah. I always just say like that, but I, it's not. I didn't. It's like really intention. Like I'm not really jealous. Jealous, you know. It's just making fun. Like, who's that girl? Like, oh, so you're gonna leave me. You're gonna leave me now. Like, you want to leave me with the other girl like that like that so that's it. <laughs> it's uh, no, a thousand times i said to her i won't leave you we agreed on that don't you remember for me like this you know sometimes no i think it's just point in our life when when a point not in life but like mm. but, com- thoughts, but, but going about this happened. change the change was that she stopped to be insecure and she took the marriage onward yeah in, in her brain yeah in her yeah. emotions and so that's when she started to become prettier <laughs> <laughs> less less stress less stress yeah because maybe i'm stressing and yeah. also adjusting to differences because you know i'm always I'm kind of perfectionist as well. Maybe I always, always think that you always need to do the right thing. And I'm also kind of perfectionist, but in a peculiar way, mm-hmm. because when I don't feel like I'm going to do it perfectly, I just don't do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you change. Yeah. You somehow adjust as well. Yeah. Oh, there, there are a lot. There are a lot of adjustments. There's so many growth in, in that year yeah. the years of marriage and still and still so much growth to be learned mm-hmm. and i think that's the key is to be open to to change yeah. and to growth as well yeah, um, and that's the also thing we agreed on that we talk about everything no matter when no matter what mm-hmm. which are which and before marriage and it didn't work that quite actually because when she got maldita and i was trying after <laughs> after it was actually in the in the start when she was being maldita and didn't want to talk, so I was just pressing on her. But you know, with time, you got like a little bit more resistant to that, and you, oh, she went that again. I don't want to talk to her right now, too. <laughs> so, so it became like she she got mad about something, and uh, I was trying to talk to her, but she didn't want to. But of course, in her mind, she's like keep pressing on me until I finally break. That's your job, yeah? And uh, and I, after some time, after some months, I didn't want to s- deal with it anymore. So that's also, uh, also a change that we didn't held up to our agreement that we're going to talk no matter what. And and I was thinking about that, talking about this agreement, and she was the one breaking it in my mind because she didn't want to talk with me, yeah? <laughs> Though I was pressing to no, because sometimes for me, and the first time I can talk, second, I give you time, second, if 
if it's not working, so I will just not talk anymore. So you will see there's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silent treatment. Is that it? So I tried to talk in the beginning once and then try second attempt. If it's not working, so I will just try mm. to stop mm. talking. Mm-hmm. I don't want to, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of a, uh, I don't want also to talk when I have my high emotions. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm afraid sometimes that I will say words that I might regret. And if I was I'm always angry. pushing her to say that stuff. <laughs> oh, how did you guys overcome that? Like those arguments, those differences, how did you compromise? Mm-hmm. Time is the best healer. Yeah. And and thinking back about that, we got married, so we want to continue this no matter what. Yeah. It's so it's it's a what? it's a choice mm. as well. And it's that's choice, one yeah. thing for me is like never give up. Like mm. never give up. Like in a situation, for example, if you have arguments or something like that, because that's what I noticed. Like we have arguments, and we feel like I feel like I'm almost gonna give up. Like okay, I don't want it anymore. Like I wanna leave you. Like, that's but- in my head. Okay. And then after a few days, and like looking back, because we already talked and everything's fine, and like we just laugh about it. And I realized, like, oh my gosh, such a fool I am to ever think that, like, you know, to give up, to ever think that you have you give up and that. For her, for her, that's her connection to the 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 problems. Yeah, for me, it was the commitment I did in the beginning before Mm -hmm. we got married. That that's my choice, and that's what I'm gonna follow and continue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's you, know, that's, so you never give up in a situation, especially. But actually, it. this uh, silent treatment stuff and stuff, uh, it took some years to like clear it up and be better because now we are actually much better in, the, in this stuff. Like, mm. we don't create these situations anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's also get... kind of, that's also, that's also growing that you, you because it's emotional treatment yeah, yeah? Emotion. and I emotions emotions uh, grow quite uh, slowly in that kind of stuff because emotions they are affected by hormones and uh, when you get into situation when you want to have silent dance and stuff it's uh, all beat up from your past mm. so it's fighting your past yeah Mm-hmm. that's so true guys let's keep that in mind mm-hmm. robert has very good insight as to yeah. why things are it's good that's what's, that's what's good about him because like when he talks like deeply he likes deep conversations he really like yeah only the first yeah. half year uh, because after half a year then i got hooked her in me so much so i didn't need to talk anymore <laughs> no but it's really good to conversate not just me like with other people as well that's what mm-hmm. I like. One thing I like about him. Yeah. Even though sometimes he's joking when he's joking so much that it's kind of offensive. He's a very direct person, and sometimes it scares me because he's so direct. And when he jokes, sometimes I feel like it's kind of mean. But I don't know. Maybe it's just me or from other people. I I'm always thinking about other people. Like, oh, maybe they will get hurt or they get offended or something like. That. I'm always telling him, "We oh, be careful when you joke with something like that." And but when he talks seriously, like with other people, uh, so he's really like, uh, he's really got a lot of wisdom and uh, deep thoughts. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. From what I'm seeing from your marriage, I can see how trend honest and communication really plays mm-hmm. a good a role into maintaining it i know there's good still role. some the communication uh, is a fundament of marriage. there we go there we go i don't know much robert okay <laughs> <laughs> okay fun, so let's doing, change it so, so now this is the interview you're doing to to learn that yes yeah. yes 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 not correct. only for your viewers but also for yourself <laughs> yeah, yeah. For me. exactly that's why i love doing so this. i have a question then for you <laughs> if you'd be already in a in a marriage and stuff like uh, five seven years in a marriage would you do that kind of interview too would i join this kind of interview no not join do as you do right now Oh, you <laughs> on your side because you already know the stuff, and how would that be? I would do it, sure. Yeah. I'm always up to okay, do okay. Write, right, writing down and checking five, seven years when you get married. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, in your diary, he's, he's claiming. <laughs> 
gaming is. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but I can see it like communication, transparency. They're all they're all very I'm just, fundamental. I'm just, yeah, I'm just saying that people do that kind of stuff, interview and streams and stuff because uh, most of it is for themselves. Yeah. If you already know the stuff about marriage and growing and stuff, there is a less possibility that you do that interview with us. But it's also possible. It, it sure. is, of course, it is possible. I said less possible, yeah? Possible. Because it's also about what you need for your streams. Uh, your ideas come not from uh, outside. They come from within you, yeah? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, well it's true i it's it's also for me that's why i love doing this i learn from the people i meet yeah. and to share it with other people so mm. exactly because uh, my my like uh life teaching uh, life like uh, how to say it the most important thing not the most important thing in life uh, for me was uh, and still is to meet a lot of people because then you learn a lot mm -hmm. without meeting people being social you don't learn so you just like don't grow yeah mm -hmm. the the as somebody said long years uh, many years ago the uh, life your life experience depends on how many people you met mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Because and everybody I... has a different point of view, mm -hmm. but not mm -hmm. only that, you have to talk to them, yeah, and listen. Yeah, I can see that in Ati Bites as well. Um, being in Ku, and I know she knows a lot of people too, and she, she's really one of the most genuine people I've known in in Ku. So you're lucky, queer Robert, and Robert is lucky, and Ati Bites is lucky to have you too. <laughs> yeah, but you, this, then. yeah, um, how is your marriage now? Uh, can you describe it uh, for us? Oh, lazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we are mostly like focus on uh, uh, work. And... Uh, because we also bought a house one and a half mm -hmm. year ago. So we just still thinking what to do with it. and mm -hmm. Responsibilities. Uh, we, are we, start to actually responsibilities. we start to grow our responsibilities like... Uh, mm -hmm more serious yeah because we are also planning to get a baby and uh, yeah. and to do that actually i postponed it many years because uh, i also felt in myself uh, still not ready yeah but after a few years i said that <laughs> i will never be ready i'll always be a child so let's just do it <laughs> mm. yeah because i think we in the beginning as i told you we're like friends and in the beginning we thought like we're still young and we can just try to enjoy first, get to know each other since we get married very fast, right? So we take that first years of mm. our marriage to get to know more each other, uh, discover more about each other, though it's everyday process, as I said. And, and we are not yet stable. We wanted to be stable to secure our family. If we're gonna build a family, we want it to be secure. Financially secure. Yeah, yeah, financially secure. We need to have a stable job. We need to have a house because it's not good if you're if you're renting apartment yeah. you never know when you're gonna get kicked off because something yeah. for this happened might happen yeah, yeah people lose your job or whatever so we want mm. we want we waited and now we were planning so i hope it's not too late because we are both already yeah you know the age. <laughs> but also but also during the marriage uh, you grew up your responsibilities and not only doing what you like to do, but also the stuff that you need and have to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. that's that's the uh, the most difficult part for me to grow that because uh, at home I like the leisure. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I have to change, go out from my comfort zone and do the stuff I need to do. Yeah, and that's why I also thought that I'm not ready to be a father because I'm still not good at it. What would be if I were a child? And I said, ah, But eventually it will come. Yeah. Yeah. I also spoke. I spoke to my friends and a lot of friends and stuff. And every time I saw when they got a baby, they changed 180. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I can say that for our marriage, yeah, we are we 
we fight less to get <laughs> like i think lesser than you it's it's much better like i get because usually we fight because of small stuff like his passions but then his passions like his vices are all gone and it's not all gone but like it's better so we have less issues about it and i uh i don't know we it's more of the communication like you have to communicate and tell you what's mm. wrong and we talk about it i i tell him when every time i get mad what's the reason i get talking mad. about your emotions in yes, a marriage often him. often is very important and of course guys you have to mm. say like The two, but the two. it was also difficult uh, sometimes for me to talk about all my emotions because uh, she was so insecure yeah in the start and if i open up too much talk about stuff and so it might not become come with understanding from her side like mm-hmm. she would put her put she couldn't put her self in my position yeah that's the thing about marriage you need to be also a friend also a distant friend also a stranger for that person to be able to talk about everything mm. mm-hmm. exactly it's not it's not only that you have a best friend it's not always you talk mm. everything about with your best friend yeah yeah But, it's it's like for example it cool as i said it's more comfortable to talk to someone you stranger That's what, what do you think? Yeah, talking mm-hmm. with strangers is a bit uh, sometimes easier because the emotions, the emotions. expectations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was uh, I wanted to say about a relationship too, like uh, like okay, few things that's very important. Like you can say sorry, sorry or apologizing, for example, for the things that you've done as fast as you could, or as for example. Because I think that's what I noticed before, like when I get maldita and he's and he don't know what to expect or what to do, or if I feel like I have the I have made my mistakes. Even if, for example, he make mistakes, and then suddenly my reaction was wrong, so I say sorry for that, and he will also say sorry for what he he did. Like being humble, humble yourself to be able to uh, to feel that. Uh, Not to focus about waiting for the reaction from the other person but from yourself first yeah mm, yes because what i did because you know th- what he did is him but for me what my reaction maybe was wrong so i apologize and you know try to yeah i think that's one thing that helps us is like to for me personally well, when we have conflicts because i am very emotional and sometimes i get so i always say to him sorry honey if i'm like maldita Sorry if I'm a dito. Like, are you mad at me? I always have so like, small, you know, and like, are you mad at me? So, like, are you disappointed <laughs> at me? So, like, you have to really communicate. With, uh, that's how you get to learn about your partner, get to know them, how they really feel. Because sometimes, some like men, they don't really say what they really feel. Sometimes not always because our thoughts are so crazy. I still cannot tell all my thoughts to her because uh, it's too crazy and she can't bear it you know like she cannot like try me (laughs) like it's because the thoughts are like so crazy so like uh, not from this world sometimes like the ideas like just wanna joke about some unreal stuff and Uh... most women are just like uh, they wanna the real stuff and when you start talking about some unreal stuff then stop talking boy what you doing (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> and that's like that's that's what you can do with your best friend when you joke you can come up with anything and laugh about it yeah mm-hmm. and that's also the stuff to learn in a marriage to have a conversations like that so it can be like more fulfilling yeah? yeah culturally cultural differences his jokes are for me are memes sometimes like when he Like for him, it's really hundred percent like a joke, and he has no intentions of hurting them. But for me, sometimes it sounds like it it can hurt a feeling, especially if yeah, you're Filipino. because we you joke oh, yeah, like sure. you joke you yes. joke with a with a person like you like kind of insult that person, but it's not an insult. It's just a joke to laugh about that. Mm. Try to like try to imagine imagine this like you're telling your friend that he's like that and that and that and. 
and the thing about the joke is try to imagine this like like he would be like that and it's so fun then not to <laughs> not meaning to insult the fr- insult the yeah, friend but like it. imagine this uh, this joke really happening yeah one of the things that you worked on really for for until now i'm guessing mm-hmm. but it, so much growth in in the four years hey um for your message to each other I, we're nearing the end um what's your message for each other at divide you start first what do you mean with the question Marjola? <laughs> but your message to each other what are you what do you want to say to her i love you <laughs> first wait for your turn <laughs> yeah, think so long <laughs> no my message is that uh, let's just apol- I'm apologizing for being Malita in the future because <laughs> I can't promise that I will not be because that's just who I am it will just happen eventually from time to time So please be patient with me. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Be patient. <laughs> be patient. <laughs> And you know, just um, I am just grateful, as I said, that you're here with me. And ciao. Now she gets it. Yes. And uh, you know, more and more years. Let's we can do it as long as uh, we it. have each other because we always say that no matter what the situation this is like i am my vow because in our second wedding in the philippines I, i this is what i told him like no matter the situation no my ups and downs as long as he is on my side everything will be all right so it's still the same you might be sickness and in health you know that's what really in the wedding like in our vows and sickness and in health And whatever the situation is, you don't give up with each other and just be patient, understanding, and continue to communicate and open up with each other, whatever the situation is. And, you know, that's... I'm always here for you. Message for you, don't let me match my choice. Huh? <laughs> Message for you, don't let me regret my choice. <laughs> Short, but I don't know what it's <laughs> mean. <laughs> always here for you and I love you. My little boy. This is my ano, panganay. Ito panganay ko. The eldest. Hi, ano. <laughs> Do you guys have any message to our viewers? There is a lot of to say. A lot of we already said, sentence. but uh, not so directly to your viewers. But... The most important thing, like we think in the marriage, is talk to each other mm-hmm. about everything. Don't be shy, mm-hmm. because if you encounter a person that cannot handle your thoughts, your emotions, and stuff, that's not the person for you. Mm-hmm. Then you, when you will find the truth, the fastest way, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And for me, like uh, marriage, marriage is not easy for the weak ones <laughs> it's so true no but like it, it <laughs> honey what you're saying don't get married if you're weak <laughs> no what i'm saying is there's a lot of responsibilities there's a lot be of prepared to fight challenges yeah. there will be a lot of ups and downs and what i'm saying is uh, you need to find the right person uh for you to be able in it, to be able to experience that uh, journey the journey of the marriage and don't give up as i said because we will always have that uh, misunderstandings conflicts don't give up and always remember the reason why you why you are with that person and trust in the process and love love conquers all As you know sometimes give yourself a time uh, but we have also a saying in Poland uh, life is not a cartoon it's a it's a battlefield oh <laughs> that's so big <laughs> one yeah. last, maybe one last I could say that I always say that nothing lasts forever because this is just not just for the married couple 
this is for singles and everyone in every situation nothing lasts forever and because it means that you have to enjoy each moment mm -hmm. for example once you're single you have to enjoy while you're single because it will not last forever you have you will have to enjoy that stage to satisfy those the things that you uh, you need to on that stage while you're single like enjoy finding yourself enjoy happy or doing like that and when you're married for example in our first stage our like that stage when we are just core uh, getting to know each other so you have to enjoy that moment because it will not last forever at that time that and all the bad stuff that you learn about the other person they will last forever too yes, so think about so it from the other side we too we are growing we are we mm -hmm. are we live in this world to grow we are not going to stay where we are forever because as yeah. long as we grow there's a change as long as we grow that's the important word you need to grow Yes. Mm. you need to be focused that you have to grow mm. Mm. Oh, because okay. you can compare it to economics if the country doesn't have inflation it's like zero it means that it has minus inflation because the rest of the world is going forward yeah, mm -hmm. so, yeah. Oh, and keep smiling that's every so day. nice every day find don't the reason cry, to smile <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not I'm like this because i'm like yeah. killing from you with you guys so thank you so much guys like looking forward on on what's next for you guys your adventure i really hope you have the little fights and little robert <laughs> coming soon can you imagine <laughs> hopefully i'll pray for it so yes uh thank you so much for joining me anything for you to for us to support you guys at the bites go with your kumu She's a no, blue checker I'm now. Just like, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for I'm really, really so uh, amazed and happy to be able to discover Kumu and to be able opportunity to meet Gila. I know guys, Gila is such an amazing oh. uh, person, human, beautiful human being that I met. Are you trying Kumu. to sell her to some boy? <laughs> <laughs> no, because she's she's so talented, guys. If you hear her. She can really sing beautifully, Mahal. She is a nurse. She is a care, care with a caring heart. And she's with, full of positivity in her. And she is just amazing. So, guys, I'm your single. Single ba? Hindi ko lang sure. Hindi ako dated. Baka hindi na single. Shut up. <laughs> no. Wala naman ako yeah, promote. Sure. It's just like, uh, you know, just always be... I know. Kind, be kind to everyone. Be kind to those you meet, because uh, you know they. Everyone has a story mm -hmm. to tell, and it's such an amazing journey to meet people and get to know their stories. Yes. And be kind and keep smiling. Mm. Thank you, Atibuich. Love you. I hope to visit you guys someday. Yes, Jill. I wanted to say that you can come visit in Norway, and we are so. You're gonna be so. Welcome here. We're gonna tour you, and of course, we're gonna go to Canada visit G Gina one That's day. That's the next thing she gotta learn one when day. she says goodbye, good night. <laughs> it takes an hour before it ends. An hour, two, three hours. <laughs> yes. Thank ready. you so much. Thank you yeah. so much, Jean, for inviting us here as well. Thank you. Honor. It is an honor to have you guys, and thank you, and uh, happy an honor to be in here. Yes, happy Valentine's everyone. And always remember that l l Valentine's is just about love. And it's not just about for couple, it's for family, friends. And Margel, everyone. you need to make a room for the flower in your room. Oh, is there a room? Is there a flower? I don't see a flower. If there is no room for flower, how the flower can come? Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Thank you, Robert. Atibai. Yeah, See you. Thank you. Thank you. So